At first there was only none. None was the dark waters of chaos. Then, on one fateful day, a small hill rose out of the water. This hill was called Ben Ben. Upon this hill stood Atom, the first god. Atom coughed and spat out Sh Shu, god of air, and Tefnut, goddess of moisture. Shu and Tefnut had two children Geb, the god of earth, and Nut, goddess of the sky. Shu, god of the air, lifted Nut, goddess of the sky, over Geb, god of the earth, so that she hung over like a canopy. Nut and Geb had four children, some of which had unpronounceable names. Osiris, I think. Isis, probably. Seth, that one's quite easy. And Nephthys, which is possibly wrong. Osiris and Isis were king and queen of the earth. They ruled together for many years. Seth, however, was jealous and one day killed Osiris because he wanted to be king of the earth. Osiris went down into the underworld while Seth remained king of the earth. However, Osiris and Isis had had one son called Horus. He battled Seth and became king of the earth while Osiris remained king of the underworld. Nowadays, Osiris often visits his son Horus on the train. And the two have a natural father and son-like relationship. They partake in various activities together, including lads and dads football. And occasionally, they go fishing together. Osiris even takes Horus to visit the underworld.